Are you ready for the word of God? Yes. Oh, I can't feel. Are you ready? Yes. Um, um, look in the face of somebody and say, my neighbor. My neighbor. A human being. A human being. Is important. Is important. In everybody's life. In everybody's life. But say, but a human being. A human being. Can also mess you up. Can also mess you up. Am I saying the truth? Yeah. So how do you navigate from a human being messing you up to a human being being good to you? It would be a very big error for me to teach and preach to you and pray for the whole year without getting to that particular move of a human being. Jesus was the son of God, but before he would do his assignment, he had to appoint some group of people that we call them what? Disciples. In as much as you insult Judas, he was part of the disciples. And they made sure that the assignment of Jesus Christ was very easy for him. Before he betrayed Jesus, he was part of the people that Jesus Christ was sending around. So at least he did something in the life of Jesus. Am I saying the truth? You know, no matter what, the Bible says he was taking care of Jesus' money. Although he was stealing some. But before he stole some, he was taking care of it. And at least if he even stole some, he protected some. So human beings are very, very important. But what do you do when your elevation has come and a third party has shown up in your life? When a third party shows up in a person's life, the third party can either mess the thing up or can add more taste to it. Tell somebody a third party. A third party. So clear example. Man of God, God bless you. Good music. Clap once for uh, Minister Johan. God bless you. So um, Mr. Johan meets somebody and the person says, I will help you. I will be a blessing to you. I will be good to you. I will be very kind to you. And now Pastor Joseph wants to be good to uh, Mr. Johan. So go to Mr. Johan and, and shake his hands as if you are being good to him and as if you are giving your phone to him. Yeah. You know, it's always great. That's how life is supposed to be. But there's always a third party. My brother, just come and, to, and say something in the ears of Pastor Joseph as if that you are spoiling Mr. Joh Johan. So although they were smiling, they were laughing, all of a sudden, he was going to give the phone to him. All of a sudden, his mind has changed. He has put the phone back in his pocket. That is the, 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 the whole issue about life is what you just saw. The whole thing about life, everything about, you see about life is what you just saw. If it was the two of them alone, they were so cool. But somebody came to spoil. Don't help him. He's wicked. If you help him, he'll be proud tomorrow. Don't even try. Your destiny helper showed up in your life. All of a sudden, they don't want to smile to you anymore. A third party has walked in. And ask the person by you, who is the third party? Who is the third party? One more time, let's go. Who is the third party? Who is the third party? For the last time, say, who is the third party? Who is the third party? So sit down and let's go through a test. Amen. It's a long test. That's why we are sitting down. First Samuel chapter 27, verse 1 to 6. I'm speaking for the next 15 minutes and we will really pray. Amen. Now look at it. NIV, please. Thank you. When we were singing, no noise. When we were saying, no noise. Only when the word of God is coming. But David taught, him, taught him to himself. One of these days I will be destroyed by the hand of Saul. The best thing I can do is to escape to the land of the Philistines. I will really break everything down for you. Then Saul will give up searching for me everywhere in Israel. And I will slip out of his hand. So David and the 600 men with him left. And went to Achish, son of Moab, king of Gath. David and his men settled in Gath with Achish. Each man had his family with him. And David, although he was not a king at that time, had two wives. Ahinoam the Jezreelite and Abigail, the wife of Nabal of Carmel. Let's go. David, before he became a king, the wives were two. When, <laughs> when Saul was told that David had fled to Gath, he no longer searched for him. Then David said to Achish, If I have found favor in your eyes, let a place be assigned to me in one of the country towns, in the villages, 
that I may live there. Why should your servant live in the royal city? So on that day, Achish the king gave to David Ziklag and he belonged to the kings of Judah ever since. Verse 7. Verse 7. So David lived in the Philistine territory one year and four months. Some say one year and four months. One year and four months. So I will get him to break everything down for you. So now David has gone to sort refuge in a country and favor has been given to David. That's the background. Let's go to 29 verse 1. Then I'll really break everything down for you. 29 verse of 1. The Philistines gathered all their forces at Aphek and Israel come by the spring in Jezreel. And the Philistine rulers marched with their unit of hundreds and thousands and David and his men also were fighting and so now David too has lived there and is fighting with the Philistines. He's also now being part of them. Let's go. The commanders of the Philistines asked when they saw David they said what about the Hebrew guys, the Jewish guys? What are they doing here? Akish replied, Is this not David? Who was an officer of Saul, the king of Israel? He has already been with me for one year, four months. And from the day he left Saul until now, I have found no fault in him. Since he came, he's been a good guy. Come. Come. I want you to know something so that when you pray into the new year, you know how to pray. So this is David. He has gone to meet the king Achish and David has been a good guy. So some people just saw David and say, why is this guy around us? Why is this guy around us? And they say, he's a good guy. There's no fault in him. Let's go. But the Philistine commanders were angry with him and said, send the man back that he may return to the place you have assigned to him. He must not go with us to battle or he will turn against us during the fighting. How better? Could he regain his master's favor than by taking the heads of our own men? Isn't this the David they sang about their dances? Saul killed thousand, David killed ten thousand. So Achish called David and said to him, As surely as the Lord lives, you have been reliable. You are a good guy. I will be pleased to have you serve with my army. From the day you came to me until now, I have found no fault in you, but the rulers do not approve of you. Let's go. Turn back and go in peace. Do nothing to displease the rulers. So David said, but what have I done? What have I done against your servant from the day I came to you until now? Why can't I go and fight against your enemies with you? Akish answered, I know that you have been as pleasing in my eyes as an angel of the Lord. When I look at you, you look at like an angel. Nevertheless, my people don't like you. No, back, back. Back. The commanders have said he must not go up with us into battle. Ten. Now, get up early along with your master servant who have come with you and leave in the morning as soon as it is light. So David and his men, they got up early in the morning to go back to the land of the Philistines. And the Philistines went to Jezreel. Blessed be the word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Church of God, hear me. Human beings are very, very important. And from 1st January 2023 all the way to 31st of December 2023, with all the prayers you have made unto God and with all the things you have told God to do in your life, if you can scream and pray and shout and break every demon without checking human being, you have made a very, very big mistake. Because whatever that you are looking for, whatever that you find yourself, whatever that you go is connected to a human being. And sometimes you can be so good, you can be so great, you can be so talented and gifted, but somebody's one statement about you can mess you up. And the statement they make about you, half of them, 90% of them is never true. But the issue is that who is listening to what they are saying? And sometimes before the answer comes, before the truth shows up, they have already sent you away. Now this is the life of King David. David has been a great guy who has killed Goliath and everybody is singing for David. And his own people, his own king, by the name of Saul, 
doesn't like David because everybody is pleased. It's it, it just, it's just, it's just saying good things about you. So I don't like you. So David ran away from where he was supposed to be. Then he went into the Philistine territory and met a king. The name of the king was called Achish. Someone say Achish. Achish. So when Achish saw David, he said, I, I remember you. You killed our Goliath. And David said, it's true. But I want to now come and work with you. Because I can fight with you and do things for you. And the man said, why not? You're a good guy. We even need more helping hands. And the Bible says from the day David met Achish and started serving, the Bible said there was no fault in David. The Bible says David was pleasing as an angel. So when you see David, he looks like an angel. When you see David, he, he has no fault. When you see David, he is hard working. Then, and, and supposed to live there for more, many, many years. But after one year, four months, David was there. Then some of the people of Achis, his own people, well, the, the Bible calls them the rulers. They came one day and they saw David. When they saw David, they said, Ah, king, why have you made a big mistake? The king said, what mistake? The king said, the guy that is standing there, he's not a good guy. If we joke, one day he will kill us. So king, I beg you, we don't want him. Take him away. And the Bible says, and the king said to the guys, he's a good guy. He's a wonderful guy. The guy said, no way. We don't want to see his face. The king wants David to be around. But the rulers around do not want David. Everybody here, wherever you stay or wherever you live, there's a spiritual ruler who doesn't want you there. Now, any ruler against your destiny, Jesus. who doesn't want you wherever you are? My God. Today, I came against that ruler. Amen. Now, listen, when I talk about the ruler, the ruler sometimes is not just human beings. Sometimes it is the power controlling the human being to work against you. It says, David, I love you and I care about you, but the rulers do not approve of you. Verse 6. The rulers do not approve of you. So as for me, I want to help you. But the rulers do not approve of you. 2023, which people do not approve of you? The, la the last clause, it says, From the day you came unto me now, I have found no fault in you. But the rulers do not approve. Now there's an issue. The guy has no fault. It means he's not done you bad. But he says, although you've not done me bad, I can't stay with you. I know you are so good, but you've not done me bad because some people are telling me you are not good. Wait, oh, as for you, you have not done me bad, but some people say you are bad. So some of you, you've not done anybody bad, but a wrong word is in somebody's ears about you. Screaming, praying, God, do this for me. For the coming year, yes. But if you don't pray into that particular area, you can be gifted. You can be talented. But when the rulers do not approve of you, they can never have you again. David. Amazing. He says, but the rulers do not approve of you. So David, although you are good, pack your things and go. Church of God. But do you know that all the things that king, the king was saying, the king could have told David, David, the rulers do not approve of you. But as for me, I will not let you go. But the king listened to what they were saying. So in 2023, may your destiny help us. Not... Amen. I said in 2023, may your destiny help us not listen what to the rulers are saying in the name of Jesus. Amen. When the rulers come to spoil you, may they say to them, we will not listen. Amen. It is not the truth. Amen. I declare, listen, I declare, listen, I declare over your customers. I declare over your clients. I declare over the people that love you. Jesus. May they not listen to what Amen. the rulers are saying Amen. by the message of God. Amen. So they will not listen. They will not listen. Again? They will not listen. For the last time? They will not listen. He says, you don't have an issue, but the rulers do not approve of you. Which means we always speak about God's approval, but you also need man's approval. Jesus had two types of favor. 
Favor with God. Luke 2 52. Favor with God and favor with Luke 2 52. And Jesus grew in wisdom and in stature and in the favor with God and man. So when you are looking for approval, don't go for one type of approval. Go for God. I need your approval and the approval of man. Because if the men begin to spoil me, I can be talented. Listen, David was a champion, a warrior, but the king said, you've done so good, but we don't want you anymore. It means your service are good, but we don't need your services anymore. Today, I came to speak to talented people here. Jesus. I came to speak to people here that you feel that you are talented, you are gifted. You know that what you carry is so amazing. You know that what you carry, the world needs it in 2023. But somebody has to approve of you. I'm trying my best. Now, who is the ruler? Now, this is my next, next point and I'll end. Who is that ruler? If you want to know who the ruler is, you have to go to Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. Who the ruler is. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against rulers. Let's all read together. Let's go. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers. So the rulers that fight you, they enter into human beings. So for a human being to say, I don't like you, it just didn't start from their mind. A spiritual ruler entered into them. Oh my God. Because it says, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. In other words, what I'm fighting against is not a human being. But the, 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 the spirit can enter into a human being. being. The rulers do not approve of you. David, you are good, you are great, but don't work with me again. As for me, I wanted you, but... And the king, let's go back again. 27, where were we? 29, 6, 7, 7. And the king told David, but no matter what, don't do anything to displease them. I'm about to show you something, a revelation. It says, turn back and go. Do nothing to displease the rulers. But I'm don't, I don't agree with the king. It means I'm supposed to bow down to the rulers. I'm supposed to dance for them. I'm supposed to be good to them so that they can love me. No! This is what is supposed to happen. Ruler, I know you don't like me. But I come against you with the power of God. Right. That you can never work against me. Amen. Let the... You can hear me? Oh, I can't feel somebody. Oh God. Because listen, if you try to please them, I could go such a they will, they will tell you, come and sleep at 6 p.m. You sleep at 6 p.m. Because say, ah, you all do, you, you lie on the bed at 6 p.m. Your eyes didn't close at 6 p.m. Am I saying the truth? So you are supposed to fight against the rulers. So those who don't approve of you, the, the rulers are working through human beings. He said, the guy has been with me for one year, four months. 12 plus 4 is got to 16. He's been with me for 16 months. He's never done any mistake. But they said, we don't approve of him. Ask the person by you, who is the ruler? Who is the ruler? Ask the person again, say, who is the ruler? Who is the ruler? Let's check something from the book of Psalm chapter 2, verse of 8, and we'll pray. Psalm 2, verse 8, and I'll check 10 as well. He said, ask of me, and I'll give you all the nations. And let's go to verse 10. He said, ask of me, I'll give you all the nations. He says, therefore, you kings, be wise. Be warned, you rulers of the earth. Today, we came to warn some rulers. Amen. Listen. Wherever your children have to go, so, listen to let me tell you, let me tell you. For you to go to an embassy to get a visa, you are supposed to tackle the ruler over there. For you to win the court case, 
you are supposed to tackle the ruler over there. For your workplace to be a place of peace, you've got to tackle the ruler over there. In every area of your life, there is always a ruler. ruler. And today I came to ask you one question. Who is the ruler? Be on your feet. If Christians will know what is in the Bible, 90% of our issues can be solved. But we read the Bible as a storybook. But we don't know that anything we need, the answer is in the Bible. Ask the person by you, who is the ruler? Who is the ruler? Ask the person, say, who is the ruler? Who is the ruler? And what is the ruler? And what is the ruler? Now, in the same way, too, let me tell you this. When the ruler approves of you, I said, when the ruler approves of you, Will you get an issue? No. Now, the ruler I'm talking about is not just negative rulers. We also have positive rulers. That's right. They are called godly rulers. When the apostles started preaching and doing the work of God, some rulers came after them. Acts chapter 4 verse 5. Rulers. Acts chapter 4 verse 5. The next day, the rulers, the elders, and the teachers of the Lord, they met in Jerusalem. And as the high priests were there, and so were Caiaphas, John Alexander, and the other men of the high priest family. What were they doing? Then they had Peter and John brought to them to question them. And they asked them, by what power and name do you do your miracles? All the miracles you are doing, who has given you the power? Who asked them? The rulers. We all know Jesus gave them the power. But the rulers were angry at them. Lift up your right hand. So if you can see, I'm trying my, my time to show you things for the coming year. So that in every side, spiritual and physical, you'll be sorted everywhere. Because we can't be coming break, 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 and break, and break, and break. And, 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 and where your miracle is coming from is from a human being. And you don't do the human being aspect. Am I saying the truth? Yes. So that's why yesterday and today I'm, sp I'm spending time on that particular area. Tomorrow is the warfare and Friday we enter into every blessing God has designed for our destinies. Amen. Ask the person who is the ruler. Who, who is, is the, the ruler? ruler? Oh, I can't feel somebody. Ask the person again. Who is, who the, is ruler? the ruler? Ask the person again. Who, who is, is the, the ruler? ruler? And, ask, and, 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 and ask this question, where is the ruler? Where is the ruler? Say, where is that ruler? Where is that ruler? Where is she located? Where is she located? And where is the answer? What, 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 what was, the, what, what's your answer? <laughs> Lift up your hands. Listen, Jesus, he got attacked by rulers. Jesus. 23, 13, look. Jesus, ruler. Look at the way you are gifted. 23, 13, look. Pilate called together the chief priests and the rulers. This is when Jesus' disaster started. When they were about to finish him, they had to call together the rulers. Where you stay, there is a ruler. Your hometown, there is a ruler. Where your children go to school, there is a ruler. Where you have your business, there is a ruler. And if those rulers do not approve of you, so that's how it works. Let me just give a simple illustration. A simple illustration. Yeah. Just, just come, come and stand here. Let's say this is the ruler of where you work. And um, um, this is um, Sister Cam. And Sister Cam, the two of you come. Let's say you sell envelopes. So hold the envelope. You sell the envelope. Yeah, hold, hold one. And you two hold one. Yeah. Yes. Hold one. So they sell envelopes. And where they work, there's a ruler over there. Clients are coming. TB and Pastor Jemba, they are clients. So now, clients want to come and buy from this sister and this sister. But there's a ruler here. If the ruler doesn't like you, when these people are coming to her, the rulers will block. So go to her and try to... You, you, you'll be buying from her, but you'll be trying to block them. So every day she's praying, God, give me customers, give me clients. But the ruler doesn't approve of her. So the ruler is blocking the clients. And, and 
one day, the sister will go and ask, my friends, and even your things were selling, you saw your own 10 CD. This one is 20 CD, but the 10 CD they are not even buying. And one day the sister will ask the question, why? And they will tell her, the ruler do not approve of you over here. But when the ruler approves of you, you can sell it for 100 CDs. Jesus. But the ruler will let the people yeah. come and buy. Today by fire. Jesus. Listen, listen. Today I came to move angelic rulers. Jesus. Oh, I come through. I said, I came to move angelic rulers to your direction. Amen. Listen, when angelic rulers from God show up around you, they block demonic rulers. Jesus. And today any demonic ruler Jesus. that will spawn people Jesus. around you. Let us spawn now. Shall fire. fire. Thank you. Lift up your right hand. Lifting up three prayers. In the name of Jesus. Sister, I know you are so beautiful. But the, when, when the ruler enters into your in-laws, you can cook jollof. You can cook Ghana jollof. Senegal jollof. Gambia jollof. Liberia jollof. Nigeria jollof. They will tell you and yet they. But when the rulers approve of you, you can cook and put on put on. My God. And they will say it is nice. That's right. I yeah. declare by fire. Yeah. Let God arise. Yeah. Yeah. Shall fire. 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 Let's tap your right hand. Who is the ruler? Who is the ruler? Even Jesus. Rulers fought against him. Pilate called together the rulers. Let's go continue. Pilate called the rulers and the chief priests and the, and the rulers of the people and said to them, you brought this one who is inciting rebellious after Zahim, you know, lift up your right hand. The rulers. Maybe next, next year by the grace of God, I will spend time to do a series on rulers. In the country you enter, there's a ruler. My God. In the country you enter, there's a ruler. And I'm not talking about the president. I'm talking about the ruler who even rules the president. When you enter into any territory, there is a ruler. A ruler. And the ruler, the name is very simple. A ruler. Somebody who? So the person controls everybody. My God. He said, David, I love you, but the rulers don't approve of you. Go away. Somebody they have given him a place to stay for one year, four months. Your plan is go away. Some of you begin to ask, ah, they, they used to like me, they used to care for me, but now, no, a ruler has spoken. Oh and listen, it's not too late. You have the ability That's Amen. Right. to overrule and override Amen. the Amen. activity of any ruler. Jesus. Say, God. God of the testimony city. I come for you. Say, God of the testimony city. God of the testimony city. I come before your altar. I come before your altar this evening. This evening, and I declare, and I declare to every ruler, to every ruler that is working against, that is working against my favor, my favor. Every ruler, every ruler working against my cause, working against my cause. Listen to my voice. Listen to my voice. I come after you. I come after. You. you can never you can, you can never win over me win, win over, over me by fire by fire in the ruler in the ruler who is not happy who is not happy for my progress for my progress i come after you i come after you now now i crush you i crush you by fire by fire in the ruler in the ruler sent from hell sent from hell in the ruler in the ruler that money tells me that money tells me i stop your agenda i stop your agenda now, now you shall not win you, you shall, shall not win. win over me over me you shall not conquer you shall not conquer over me over me now now as i clap as i clap as i pray as i pray somebody clap for him